moment of the day. Moxie! <gasps> Hi! Oh my goodness. Moxie, you gotta get out of the way. Poncho, come on. Out of the way. So, we usually eat really healthy during the week and we keep each other on track. Except for weekends. Yes, weekends we eat a little bit more fun. So, if you're wondering what these are, these are nachos um, with chicken. And there's two different kinds because I can't have dairy, so I use the Daya cheese, and Nate has normal cheese. And we do peppers and mushrooms, and then these chips we use are by Rice Works. We use sweet chili and plain because these ones by themselves are very spicy and they're gluten-free, so they're Kelsey friendly. Bon appetit. So it's Friday night and we are celebrating tonight. Mox, we uh, are celebrating getting signed with an agency. Uh, we both got signed together for a year and we're excited to do some couple shoots. And shoots apart, so we finally get to work together kind of more professionally than we have. Maybe you'll see us in the commercial sometime. Yeah. <laughs> this weekend, you can uh, watch the behind the scenes of us doing our first self tape in our backyard, mm -hmm. and also be sharing um, some moments from getting new headshots as well. Stay tuned. <laughs> So we are getting ready to set up outside for our at-home audition. This is the future of auditions, this little selfie light here. Um, so let's go outside. So as you guys can probably see from our outtakes, um, the outside was too dark and too shadowy for our video. So we had to move it inside, but I think we got a good one. Uh, now I am actually going to film a slate for my profile. Uh, so this, you're just really trying to show your personality within seven seconds of saying your name and what agency you're from. So wish me luck. I'm about to do this now again with my little ring selfie light. So I'm making gluten-free banana bread. I'm using coconut flour instead of a rice or oat-based flour. It's lower in carbs and it actually spreads out a lot in recipes. So um, usually two tablespoons is the equivalent to like a quarter cup of flour, uh, but it has a lot of fiber and protein. In this banana bread, there is no sugar either. So I added maple syrup and of course the bananas. And then there is no butter except to butter the pan. So I just use eggs and ground flaxseed, cinnamon, a little bit of coconut yogurt to thicken it up. Um, cinnamon, what else is in here? Baking soda, and oh, sunflower butter, because I can't have peanuts, so we use sunflower butter, which will give it a nice taste. So let's see how it turned out. So our banana bread looks really dark on top, but it is lighter inside and it um, fell a little bit, but overall it's very good. It's time for steak. Uh, yeah, so when we do steak, we don't do red meat that often, but when we do, we do it right. I marinated it for about six hours and all it is is just a little bit of olive oil, soy sauce, and Montreal steak spice. That's it. We'll show you the after. I want to taste the after. Hmm? <laughs> so the steak is done. Usually we would have a vegetable with these like potatoes or sweet potatoes, but um, 
we ate some raw vegetables before dinner because we were really hungry uh, and it's a weekend so this is a little treat and Nate loves ketchup so do I and we're having a little bit of red wine we'll see what Nate thinks of his steak what? so what do you think my hair is crazy of your steak it is a little crazy uh eight out of ten probably it's not like the market ones that i've had before but these are good in which market that's the victoria street market in kitchener my dad's favorite So it's dinner again. It is Sunday, so we're making a really good meal. It's Thanksgiving weekend. Yes, tomorrow's family time, but tonight it's just us. So uh, we made these Brussels sprouts, cut them in half. I did one and a half tablespoons of olive oil and I did two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Moses. So I just bought the balsamic vinegar the other day and um, you just use that plain. Then here's the salmon. And then we're gonna add some sweet potatoes and potatoes that we made yesterday. All right, so this salmon, we are seasoning it a bit differently. Usually we do like a maple barbecue or lemon garlic. We're putting on this mustard that we picked up at Sandbanks Winery. It's Has gonna be pretty good. Yeah, it has Chardonnay in it, which is kind of interesting. So it does have a little bit of a kick to it. That's a lot of mustard, but I guess uh, we're going for a little spice tonight. It'll be fine, a lot of it will soak in. And then we just gotta do the potatoes and the sweet potato and the Brussels sprouts are looking real good right now. So this is the end result. Looks so good. Follow white rabbit I'm taking potions, call me Alice Watch me grow taller Yeah, rabbit's watches in his pocket Yeah, he stays late but he leads me so I follow Second, second picking up the tail of a horse. I know, eh? <laughs> I can't believe how long it's actually gotten. You're a hippie. Thank you. I live out in the country now. Get the, he didn't have number two, he only had three and one, and I wasn't going down to one. Does that look short enough, Kels? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. So I am getting my makeup ready for our new headshots. I already did my foundation uh, and now I just have to do my eye makeup and a little bit of bronzer. For my foundation I use Tarte, the Rainforest of the Sea line. There's a lot of hydration in it and it has really good coverage. And I use the matching uh, concealer. The label's kind of rubbed off but you can see it. I find the colors match really well with this one and I use it for a lot of like photo shoots or video. So I will show you um, what I'm gonna be using for makeup and how we're gonna do it. Uh, for the headshots, we don't want like glamorous Kardashian makeup. Uh, even though I love the Kardashians, uh, that's not the look that you wanna go for. It's more like natural and soft. Um, so no fake eyelashes or anything like that. 
even though I also really love fake eyelashes. <laughs> so I'll show you a few products as we go along here and yeah, let's do some makeup. done um, it's time to do my hair and then uh, in about an hour I will put on lipstick right before we're going to shoot whoa look <laughs> at that hair it does look a lot better <laughs> okay so we just finished our headshots thanks to Jess the snapper yeah we will tag her in the video and so we were gonna do behind the scenes footage and then we were having too much fun. And I Catching totally, up. <laughs> I totally forgot. Uh, Jess has done a lot of photos for us in the past. So it's always nice to catch up with her. And uh, I'm really excited to see what she did for us. All right, peace out. <laughs>